Hello, my name is Katie and to celebrate the launch of my new book, The Blue Giant, I thought it would be fun to show everyone how to make their own picture of the blue giant using collage materials and other stuff you might have at home. Um, and when it's done, it should look like this. So first things, grab your tools. We'll use coloured pencils and crayons, pens, you'll need a glue stick, and I also use some paint, but whatever you've got at home, we can use and make work. You'll need some paper, it doesn't have to be white, it could be blue if you want. Um, and we'll also need some stuff to collage with, so scrap bits of paper, scrap bits of plastic wrapping that you want to give a new life to, bits of plastic bags, uh, the undersides of envelopes, whatever you've got we can use, just make sure that you've got permission to be cutting it out and sticking it on. From these we want to cut out some fish and some squiggly plant shapes, be sure to get an adult to help if you need it. And then next we're going to add some details on those too, so little smiley faces or squiggly lines and scales, all that kind of stuff to make them look a little bit more interesting. And once we've got the collage pieces to somewhere where we're happy with, we can start to plan out where we're going to stick them on the giant. So first we need to draw lightly in like a light blue pencil or crayon the shape of the giant, then you can go in with a bit more firmness. Um, it's a big round swooshy shape. And then we can start to colour it in, so I started using some light blue crayons to give it the base of the colour. Um, a few different shades of this light blue just to give it some variety. And then after that I went in with a little bit of paint just to give it even more texture but if you don't have any paint then don't worry you can use whatever you've got, coloured pencils, felt tip pens, it's all good. So once the base is all filled in, we can go ahead and start sticking down all of our pieces. So using a glue stick to gently stick down all the pieces, just thinking about the direction that you'd like the plants and the fish to be in, um, and try and put some contrasting colours next to each other as well, so there's a nice variety throughout the, the giant. Take your time, you don't have to rush. If you wanted to as well, you could maybe place the pieces down before sticking them so you can really play around with the positioning and, and where you'd like them to go. You can have all the pieces overlapping too if you'd like, um, depending on how much collage materials you have. I've not gone super heavy with all the collage materials, we will be drawing into it further. But yeah, nice variety. I really like using plastic bags on these because the textures come out really cool. Um, it gives it a lot of... it just looks a bit more watery. It looks quite nice. So once those are all stuck down, we can start working back into it. So using some darker shades of blue, creating more things going on in the giant. So little schools of fish, they can be quite simple, they don't have to be detailed. Some more wiggly plants, like seaweed, anemones, anything that goes on under the sea. And using a variety of colours, I quite like using waxy crayons and pencils because the colours show up really clearly. You could draw some more detailed fish if you wanted as well, 
or anything else that you'd find under the water to put into the giant. Just making them nice and bright and colourful. I've used a variety of colours, not just blue. There's quite a lot of orange because orange is my favourite colour. I think it's quite a nice bright one and lots of fish are orange but you can use whatever colours you'd like to make it as bright and as colourful and as fun as you want. Once we've filled out the giant a bit more we want to decide on an expression to give them. So I've gone for a smiley face because this is a happy giant. But if you wanted yours to look a bit more grumpy or shocked or concerned then by all means you could doodle that kind of face on them too. It did take a few layers to draw this face on just because of all the existing paint on there so sometimes you have to go over it a few times and that's okay. I wasn't fully satisfied with the giant so I decided to add a few more splashy marks around the outside um, in a few different colours. And there's the finished result. There's a happy blue giant. You could work on it further if you wanted to, if you wanted the background to be blue as well, filling that in, or giving it some more fish friends, or maybe even painting yourself swimming alongside it, whatever you feel like doing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed making your own collage of the blue giant. I'd love to see anything that you've made, so if you feel like sharing, please send me a message on Instagram or an email so I can take a look. The Blue Giant is available online now um, and from your local independent bookshop, so do support those if you can too. Um, yeah, have a good day. Goodbye.